Originally from the Bronx and from New York. I'm from the Bronx. Right here in the Bronx, New York. This is home, right here. AOC says if you're not a Democrat, you don't belong here in the Bronx. Right. What do you say? I uh, disagree with that. I don't think she should be here in the Bronx. I actually don't know any Democrats living in the Bronx. Look, AOC, look at the su tremendous oh, support for Mr. Donald J. Trump. You need to tell her then she need to stay out the Bronx because look at all the you people around. Down. Everybody's here for Trump. I am a Democrat and I belong here. And who are you voting for? Donald J. Trump. What has AOC done for the Bronx? She's done nothing for the Bronx. Nothing. Nothing's changed. Nothing's gotten any better. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Let her come to the Bronx and let her come among us people that struggle. She doesn't even know what struggle is. They're, they're, you're okay. You're not going to. You're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Yeah. Almost lifelong New Yorker. I've lived here for 30 years. I have never seen anything like what I saw in the Bronx yesterday. Uh, Democrats are running scared and they should be because it was such a melting pot of everyone. It was like one of those uh, 80s commercials, the United Colors of Benetton. I mean, they were white, they were black, they were Hispanic, they were Asian. I met people who were from Africa. They come all the way here. There were Haitians, there were Jamaicans, there were folks from all walks of life. And, you know, his overarching message was no matter what race, religion, or gender you are, we're all Americans and we're all in this together and no one deserves to be living like we're living right now with the skyrocketing costs, with the southern border and an all-time crisis, with global conflict, with skyrocketing crime. And it was just like, as you just said, so genuine yeah. and so sincere. And by the way, the crowd, there was no conflict. Everybody was helping each other, uh, you know, standing in line, passing out water for each other. Uh, it snaked all through the park. Uh, you know, the, the venue actually was at capacity at 3,500. We pre-sold over 10,000 tickets. Uh, final estimates put the crowd somewhere between 20 and 25,000. And I believe it, you know, uh, my friend wow. filmed the line. It stretched for over, I mean, five minutes of him just running wow. down the wow. sidewalk trying to capture it all imagine what we can do next four more years pause four more years four more years four more years don't worry you at all no at all i think he's going to be elected the president because everyone still wants him as the president so to me it doesn't matter biden they have disrespected the people of, the, of the city of New York. This was the be this was the best city in the world. We're not the the great apple anymore. We're not the big apple. We are the rotten apple. Biden went on the Charlemagne the God show and said, "You ain't black if you don't vote for him." I'm black because that's what I was, how I was born and what I am. And Trump is going to be is the man that can save this country. Period. So interesting to talk to those voters, Anna, and multiple people actually mentioned that Charlemagne the God interview. I did press back with some of those folks, mentioning some of Trump's rhetoric that's been seen as, as racist and bigoted. They said they don't have a problem with that. They view his actions uh, over his words in terms of what he, they feel he can do for their community. Again, the economy, those pocketbook issues over and over again, top of the list. Here as well is rapper Chef G. Does everybody know Chef? Where is Chef G? Where is he? Come on up, fellas. Rapper Sleepy Hollow. Come on up here, fellas. How are you, man? Hey. Oh, you. Oh, I like that. I want to get that done. <laughs> President Trump, oh, man. One thing, one thing I want to say. One thing I want to say. They always gonna whisper your accomplishments and shout your failures. Trump gonna shout the wins for all of us. Make America great again. Thank you very much. That's for I like those teeth. I want to find out where you did. I got to get my teeth like that.
I want that to happen to me. And, and Joan, Shingang, I'm going to pronounce her, Shanga Koawa. I think I pronounced it correctly. She can call me Joe Bidden. It was hardworking patriots like you who built this city, and it is hardworking patriots. Like, and this is something you can say it, and you can say it a million times, and you can emblazon it. It's hardworking patriots like you who are going to save our country. You are going to save our country. We're going to get out and vote like never before. We're going to make it too big to rig. Our vote is going to be too big to rig. So one thing they can't guard against, working together, there is nothing we cannot do and no height we cannot achieve. Together we will make America powerful again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. We will make America great again. Thank you, Bronx. Thank you, New York. We love you. Thank you. God bless everybody. God bless you. God bless you.